get emails saying, Brian McElhatton, what's crack a I mean, we don't because no one can spell that, but he does get asked about this or that. Now, when a viewer named Joyce asked about holiday gift alternatives for kids, Brian found one present that'll keep giving for years to come. So, Brian, what's the deal? One of our viewers, Joyce, wrote me and asked if it was okay to give her kids savings bonds for the holidays. I said, yeah, giving the gift of savings is a great idea, and if you're going to do it, here's how. I want you to meet Kelsa Dickey. She owns Fiscal Fitness and helps folks budget and save. The first question you need to ask yourself is what's the purpose of that money? So if it's to save for college, then there's a lot of options. Uh, saving bonds is one of those options, 529 plans. Series EE bonds earned a fixed rate of interest for 30 years. The minimum amount is 25 bucks and you can buy up to $10,000 worth each year. But be warned though, if you cash them in before five years, you'll lose three months worth of interest. And speaking of interest, you might want to wait before you buy them. Right now, interest rates are really low, and so the interest rate you're going to get on a savings bond may not even be keeping up with inflation. Ah, that's where the Series I bond comes in. Now, with these, you can buy them in any amount between $25 and $10,000, but they earned a combined interest rate. There's a set rate of interest when you buy the bond and another rate that helps protect against inflation. The Series I bond could be a good option for you. There's another way to save, and it's specifically for college. It's called a 529 plan, but only open one of these if you know you're gonna use it to save for school. And you can open it with $50, usually. And after that, you can choose to put money in monthly. You can put it in once a year. The cool thing about 529 plans is that anyone can set them up for the kids. Mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunts and uncles. Married couples can contribute $140,000 a year to the account. Singles, $70,000 a year. Once you open the 529 plan, you can then invest in different products every month or every year. And that's what your financial advisor will help you choose what the correct diversification is inside of the 529 plan. So there you have it, savings bonds and 529 plans. Joyce, I hope that helps you out. There's more information on our website, thelisttv.com. And as always, if you want to know what's the deal with something, send me a message on the List official Facebook page.